Welcome back to DCS Debrief at the Air Warfare Group. Something a little bit different this time. Uh, had a couple of comments recently about uh, people wanting to see some more advanced um, sort of uh, situations and, and more advanced commentary on um, on tactics. Um, something that we've been kind of uh, reticent to put out um, because nobody within the Air, For Air Warfare Group has real world experience of uh, conducting these tactics and we don't want to put anything out there that might be seen as being um, instructional or, or kind of um, authoritative in any way um, but uh, a lot of our audience uh, seem to want to see uh, the way that we uh, have fun online um, as uh, as a group so uh, hopefully you can take this video in the, in the spirit that it's meant um, it follows on from a, a sortie which we um, which four members of the group flew uh, yesterday, the 23rd of December 2021, um, on the Enigma uh, Cold War server. Shout out to uh, the Enigma Cold War server. Um, I've only played on it a few times, but seems like an outstanding place to go and practice these sorts of um, techniques. Uh, we're flying as a four ship. We, we've, it's the first time really we've flown as a four ship. We didn't really have any tactics in place for that. We've done a bit of BFM and a bit of air combat maneuvering um, practice. Um, some things that you'll hear. Um, you'll hear us uh, using hopefully something approximating uh, good brevity but uh, if there are any real fighter pilots out there in the world watching this then um, you know uh, apologies it's um, it's for four people who've never done that job uh, trying to uh, kind of fudge our way through it as best we can um, we're not we're not trying to use good calm and good brevity in order to be realistic um, we're trying to um, be uh, efficient in our communication in order to work best as a team in the in the virtual environment. We're not trying to replicate uh, the real world um, and recognizing that it is a virtual environment and that we're not doing it for real. Um, having said that, uh, there's some really good practices um, from the real world that, that do apply to uh, DCS and so we've tried to port some of those across. Uh, some of those will be familiar if you're uh, an aviator or if you're uh, particularly a military aviator. Uh, if you're a fast jet pilot, then it'd probably be a little bit less familiar because, um, uh, like I say, we don't have that experience. I'm sure there'll be some um, some egregious errors made. Um, but again, nobody, uh, as far as I know, uh, in this server is a real fighter pilot, and certainly nobody in uh, this formation was a uh, is a fighter pilot. Um, so take it for what it's worth. Um, I might stop it and make commentary as we uh, as we go through, but my intention is just to uh, just to let it play. Um, some debrief points that we brought out, and hopefully you will um, see as we go through. Um, having not flown as a four ship before, our mutual support between the two elements was was lacking early on, and that had some consequences for us. Um, and uh, some of the com. Uh, was a little bit uh, uh, a little bit off, particularly my com. Um, I got a bit shouty and and um, and sort of deviated from using good uh, good com practice. So I've I've uh, that's my main debrief point coming away from it. Um, and then later on, um, some decisions about how we split the formation and what duties we assign to people. Um, we got a bit complacent, I think, towards the end, and again, uh, you'll see the consequences of uh, of that as well. Uh, some of the things that went well, um, our, in general, our um, our communication, our situational awareness was higher than it than it has been previously. So um, that efficiency of the communication, that um, teamwork, um, is uh, is building, um, and also uh, the decision at the end uh, to bug out, uh, I think, was a good one. Um, and it was executed uh, well in the sense that neither of the two aircraft that um, that bugged out subsequently got shot down. So we've recorded the tack view. I've got the video from my cockpit playing on the right of your screen. Um, and we've also got the audio from SRS. My voice isn't um, uh, recorded through the radio channel so you'll just hear my voice um, like you can at the moment um, and hopefully that won't be too distracting because like I say um, I was working at the, the uh, limit of what my brain will allow me and uh, my voice tends to go up uh, in volume and up in octaves when uh, when I'm working hard so I apologize for the volume headset uh, headphone users may want to uh, adjust their volumes accordingly anyway uh, without further ado uh, I'll let the video play and I uh, hope you enjoy Jetta 1-1, threat, bra, 
Okay, first of all, worth pointing out that although we're operating under the call sign Nitro here, um, one of the uh, one of the aircraft, the number four in the in the formation, had um, had set their call sign to Jedi, and so the Overlord bot, which um, operates on this server, is referring to Dash Four in this formation as Jedi. Um, only uh, only the uh, one three and one four element uh, of this formation have are, are using. Um, that bot, uh, the the uh, uh, lead me and um, one two, we didn't have the correct um, formatting on our call sign to use that. So you'll hear nitro one three, which is uh, the element lead uh, of the second element in the formation, and Jedi one one I think it is um, is actually nitro one four. So try and um, interpret that as best you can. Um, hopefully that will aid in you understanding some of the decisions that um, we made based on those uh, information calls. Nitro check right 10. Might get some trade here. West. Probably chasing that pair on our front left. Yeah, Roger. Tally one, low, uh, low left. No joy. Say again. No joy. Have long. Uh, pressing. Press. Four going high cover. Engaged. Tally ho, left. Ten o'clock. Okay, worth pointing out here that um, you'd have heard there the Overlord bot calling out um, threat bra uh, 190, uh, I don't recall the range, uh, for Nitro 14 slash Jedi 11. Um, type fish bed, uh, and that was this aircraft here. Uh, I think we'd all got um, A, task saturated at this point, and also B, a little bit target fixated on the uh, bandit from the north. Uh, none of us picked up that initial call. Break, break, break. Jedi 11 merged 044, 19,000, farmer. No joy on the second one. Roger. Break, break, break. Okay, that was the first point that we picked up that threat fish bed to the south. Fish bed in the mix, looking left. Yeah, tally. Uh, west, four miles. He looks like he's chasing you. Break left flares, break left flares. So at this point then, my com already breaking down, I'm calling out names on the net, which is um, not good practice. Um, you can, uh, the, the name uh, that I was calling there was actually the incorrect. Uh, I was calling for 1-3 uh, and it was 1-4 that, um, that the fish bed was uh, targeting. But in actual fact, it turned out to be a valid call for 1-3 because the fish bed's plan, I think, was to flow direct from 1-4 to 1-3. Didn't work out. Aircraft descending, break high flares. I'm dead. 
Nitro 1-1 one, one is engaged. Roger, I'm supporting. Tally. Bandit climbs. Co-rotating above the fight. Nitro one three merge. Twenty seven thousand fish bed. Bandit extra high. I'm in from the west. Okay, so uh I and Nitro one three are getting a bit task um saturated um and a bit target fixated here. <clears throat> I probably ought to be maintaining a higher supporting um, position here and trying to get a better supporting position rather than um, trying to get a shot of opportunity um, but I was thinking primarily about reducing my time to kill. Nitro 1 2 <clears throat> as you'll probably see from this engagement for me um, and having spoken to um, the guy who was flying Nitro uh, 1 3 we both agreed afterwards that Nitro 1 2 was the man of the match here um, and throughout really because he's maintaining a good supporting position he's um, maintaining uh, SA on what's going on outside the fight uh, and as a consequence he's able to see this um, fish bed diving in um, who's just shot uh, an unrelated um, third party F5 that wasn't on frequency with us um, and if it weren't for 1-2 uh, then um, we wouldn't have been aware of that MIG 1-1's one, engaged fish bed, fish bed, leads, uh, coming on you from behind Roger press. Choosing is offensive, fight goes left. Treated. Fox two. <sighs> Miss out change. Okay, we've got more than one bandit. I'm engaged vertical. Are you downhill? Roger, I'm engaged downhill bandit towards the mountains. So at this point, um, I knew there were two MIGs, but um, I was trying to ascertain which one that 1-3 um, was uh, was engaged with. And um, as a discriminator, I tried to use the direction that the, um, the bandit was turning. And uh, at the time, they were going downhill. Um, probably not the best use of... Um, direction of travel as a discriminator because this next phase ended up getting quite confusing for me and I think as a result I made it quite confusing for everybody else but fortunately one two sorted us all out. Roger I'm coming downhill now, bandit goes up. I'm defensive. Two bandit extends into the merge. Yep. Saint. Bob, I've got daisy chain, bandit, th uh, two bandit. I'm in a flat scissor. Defend guns. Going south. I'm extending south. You extending right. This high, uh, going high and south. Uh, lead you somewhere underneath me. I lost you in the fire. Roger. Yeah, one one's extending south at low level. Raven one one. Threat bra. Three five four. Ten eight thousand. Twenty five. Two on lead. Cover t uh, trail. Let's take it above the clouds. Roger. I've got one marking my left nine o'clock. Anybody marking? Roger. Who's there? Angel spinning. Roger, I am no joy. Nitro 1 3, threat, bra, 1 5 2, 15, 3 no joy, we joined on lead. Trent Northwest, fish bed, Roger. for ship H, 6 J. Nitro 1 3, bogey dope. Overlord, Nitro 1 3, bogey dope. So at this point, <clears throat> we'd all extended out of the fight. Um, we're trying to collect ourselves back together. Um, one three has probably got the most SA at this point, or at least I assessed that he had probably had the most um, SA. <clears throat> one two was up, um, getting himself into a good supporting position, um, and uh, one three get, did a good job getting the bogey dope on that um, remaining fish bed. Nitro one three, overlord, Nitro one three, hot fish bed. Uh, 
Fly no joy. Tally. Roger, I'm cover on you. So I missed that one circle call and hence um, I was a little bit unsure about positioning um, of the bandit and 1-3. That will become um, pertinent in just a second. Is that your guns? No, that's his. I'm descending. So at this point I got um, a good plan form of that uh, MIG and I was able to identify who was who. Unfortunately, I um, I didn't exercise good um, good shot doctrine here and I fired my Fox 2 with 1-3 just re-entering my, um, my canopy bow. So it wasn't particularly good shot placement. Fox 2. Fox 2 kill. Good kill. Two, Sally on the splash, um, to the east of that. Roger, let's run west for a while. Two. Two. Two supporting west through the valley. Roger, I'm up at 15,000, levelling at 17. Two splashing, uh, passing the splash to the west, looking for you, east, still blank. Roger, hot shot. Rejoin battle left. Raven 1 1 submerged. 166 22,000. 2 ship H. 2 ship Roger 2, continue west and climb. Raven 1 1 submerged. 134. 20,000. Fish bed. Overlord, Nitro 1 3. Boogie day. Nitro 1 3. Overlord, bra. 1857. 22,000. Northwest, fish bed for ship H, 6J. Okay, contrails high left, that's uh, the MiG-21 plus bombers. Seen. And I'm in the formation. Roger. Safe position. Trailing an F5, someone's just put banners on. Roger, that might be Yeah, that's 2 and 2 is sucked on your left. Roger, should we go after this 21 in with the bombers then? Okay, uh, check left, correction, tack, stand by, I've got uh, contrails on my nose. Three split left. More terrible com from me uh, results in uh, one, three being split. Um, having just come out of a, a fairly high workload environment, uh, I spotted some contrails uh, down here, perceived them as a threat and when uh, you're working hard on something complicated. Um, a threat is going to is going to take all of your attention, and that's exactly what happened in my uh, small brain. Um, and so I started focusing on those um, missiles, and uh, one three got split from the formation. Nitro one three merged one two seven fifteen thousand fish bed. Roger. Nitro one three merged one seven four twenty one thousand for ship H six J. One three uh, hot shot. Okay. Roger, I'm low cover on you. Tumbleweed. I'm scissors, big twenty one. Roger. Okay, you can't see it on the video really, but I looked across underneath that uh, formation of uh, H6J uh, contrails. Uh, I could see a uh, what looked like a rolling scissor in. Um, contrails which uh, enabled me to uh, get the location of 1-3. Tally and visual on 2, on 3. Overlord, night 1-2 set tripwire 10 miles. Roger, there's a rolling scissor going south. 1-3, are you descending? Uh, I'm going to 
Roger. Tally. So at this point I could see the um I could see the fish bed. Um I knew I was gonna have to um transit this um circle. I'd, I was tallying visual uh, and I felt I could safely do that um nose to nose. Um and then my game plan was to set up supporting a one three. Uh one two um had told me that he was attacking the, the bombers um and um sort of decided to to continue that attack from a stern assuming that the uh, fight between 1-3 and the fish bed was going south unfortunately that turned out to be an incorrect assumption and uh, a little bit more positive control of the formation probably would have um, prevented what happened next seeing I'm coming past you transiting reversing right fight goes right Roger. 15,000. I'm low cover. Missile, missile, flare, flare. Break left. Overlord, night one one. Munchy, set, trip wire. One three, status. Say again. Status. Roger, tally, visual. Guns, guns, guns. Bandit reverses. Okay, guns hit. So at this point I'm conscious that 1-3 has only got guns remaining and I've got a um, uh, an AIM-9 Papa 5 on my uh, wingtip. Um, and I'm looking to try and make use of that, but I'm also conscious that he's engaged, so I need to take a shot of opportunity or I need to get engaged myself. And to be honest, I was probably a little bit too much focused on engaging rather than um, supporting and building wider SA. Bandits defending low. 1-1 one, one engaged. 3 off left. So at this point I called engaged. Um, one three called um, off left, but uh, remained tally and turned out to be a good thing because uh, uh, the bandit went down through a layer of cloud. Ah, blind now. Three engaged. Press. Five goes left, just under the clouds. Visual, tally. Leads in from high. Off right. Nitro one three. Fox two. Zero five seven. One thousand. Fish bed. Missile trashed. Trashed. Engage. Press. Offensive going left. One one is off high left. Three status. Offensive. Pulling back. Blind. So you can see here I'm belly up to 1-3 so not really able to provide good support. Um, this other MiG has entered the fight. I'm unaware of him for the time being uh, and I'm aware that 1-3 is potentially losing the fight against this um, fish bed so I'm looking at how I can produce a shot against the fish bed. Um, better positioning for me uh, would have been uh, further out, higher up, and going in the opposite direction um, to this fight because uh, I'm um, uh, I'm now uh, blind on uh, on the wingman transiting. I'm going across the circle. I see. You. Also got another Megan from the top. No joy. Apart from listening to my neck creaking and my generally failing skeleton, um, despite only being at 1G, uh, you can also hear um, that I'm 
I'm sort of now trying to get a tally on that second fish bed. I didn't really know where it well, I didn't know where it was at all. Um and that was the that call from one three was the first um that I was aware that there was another aircraft in the fight. So we're now separated into uh two one v one engagements. Okay, I'm working this mate coming left. Bandic. Depending. Lead defends MiG-21 right down through 6,000. So at this point, I'm just trying to survive. Um, and as it turns out, um, during the debrief, 1-3 um, didn't realise that 1-2 was no longer around. Um, he thought that 1-2 was still supporting above. So he's trying to get 1-2 in on the fight. I'm capacity limited. So uh, I respond to uh, a call that's meant for 1-2. And it all gets a bit confusing for a while. Neutral. Fight goes right hand down through four. Two, status. Overlord, Uzi 5, room, bogey dope. Let's just take a look here then. I've just about managed to neutralise this um, this fight with this uh, fish bed. So I'm now thinking about um, getting into position from where I can run away because my fuel's uh, not in a good state. 1-3 uh, is engaged. Uh, offensive with another fish bed going south um, but he's quite low on gas as well and he's only uh, got uh, both of us are, are down to guns now so we're looking at ways to um, if we get an opportunity to separate and run away then that's what we're going to do One one neutral. Overlord, Jedi one one, set warning, ten miles. So at this point I don't know whether you can quite make it out on the um on the video track on the right. I saw um this fish bed struggling to maintain control of his aircraft, bled down a lot of energy to, to win those angles. Um and uh so as soon as I saw him struggling I was thinking, right, I need to now uh get into a position from which I can threaten him initially. Um, and then escape west. I'm coming up on on west, so I need to get on with that. Um, and my intention really was to get the nose on him, put a load of tracer towards him to to get him at least um, thinking about being defensive, or at least put the doubt um, in his mind, uh, and then unload uh, and go west. Um, one three down to the south um, was in a flat scissor with only his uh, guns and and depleting ammunition as well um, and so um, you know, from the debrief it was uh, it became evident that he was also um, looking for an opportunity to get away and you'll hear us discuss that uh, in a second I think Shadow one one Overlord I could not find you on scope Overlord Jedi one 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 is running Jedi west. One one, overlord, copy, warning ten nautical miles. Okay, so I'm bugging out. Let's see if we can find uh, one three down here. Okay, let's explore what um, what's going on here then. Fishbed pilot's doing a pretty good job of um, keeping this uh, scissor going despite being. Um, defensive and being on the looking like they're on the edge of control and uh, one three is also doing a good job of staying behind him but at this point has uh, I believe run out of gun ammunition so it's just looking for a bug out option and there's the bug and uh, uh, we both um, bugged out and uh, made it back to safety. You can see the fish bed that I was fighting is extending away from the fight over here. Um, this fish bed that one three was fighting is still uh, fighting, uh, but uh, 
has lost uh, lost tally, so he's just going around in circles on his own, and we live to fight another day. Anyway, that's the uh, uh, that's the debrief. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, quite a long video, but um, hopefully there's some stuff in there for you to uh, mull over and uh, leave a comment if you uh, if you want to um, pitch in with any. Uh, words of wisdom or uh, or any questions I'll do my best to uh, answer them uh, but like I say nobody taking part in this formation was um, a fighter pilot and that will be plainly obvious to anybody who is actually a fighter pilot if uh, there are any watching this sort of thing um, uh, but yeah fingers crossed that um, gave you an insight anyway into the more complex um, scenario type things that um, that uh, have been requested in, in the commentary on other videos a little bit different to what we normally post uh, and if, uh, if it's well received then I'll think about posting some more of it uh, thank you very much for watching please uh, like if you like the video uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more uh, you know have a look around the channel first make sure it's something that you want to uh, that you want to see more of uh, we don't want to be spamming anybody with uh, with stuff they don't want to see uh, and head on over to tactical DCS discord if you want to take part in um, and stuff like this as a team because uh, for my money uh, flying with friends and making new uh, connections uh, and uh, you know just flying with different people is uh, a real benefit um, to uh, to DCS that's what I continue uh, to use the sim for and uh, have a great Christmas uh, if you're celebrating it um, and uh, we will be back soon with uh, more from our regular schedule Thanks very much for watching.